In this video, I'll be using group policy to disable Brave Rewards in Brave Browser. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find my Windows Server setup. And also, here you can find the video about installing policy templates to manage Brave Browser settings via group policy. And this video, in this case, is not necessary because the setting that I will be modifying is not currently available in the policy templates. Because as you can see here, I will be disabling Brave Rewards by deploying a registry entry. Also here you can find the location to the policy that I will be configuring and also all the values that I will be using in this policy. And now I will begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows environment. And here I will be creating my policy, so I will go to Tools, Group Policy Management, I will right click on group policy objects, select new, I will name the policy brave settings, then I will click ok, I will expand group policy objects, select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select edit. And I will be deploying my policy to my computer, so I will go to computer configuration, preferences, window settings and then registry. Then I will right click in the window here, go to new and select a registry item. And here for the action value, I will leave it at update. For the hive, I will also leave it at local machine. Now for the key path, I will go back to my GitHub page because like I said, I have all the values that I will be using here. So I'll copy the value for the key path, copy it, go back here and insert it. Now for the value name, we are doing the same. Going back to the GitHub page, copying the name, inserting it here. Now for the value type, let's change it to D word and for value data, we only need to enter one. And that's basically it. Now let's click on apply. Okay. And now we can close the policy window. Let's go to details and for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy only has computer settings in it. And after creating my policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to disable the Brave Rewards. And for that I will click on hold on the policy and then I will drag it on this organization unit. Then I will release it and as you can see the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Brave and as you can see we have Brave Rewards enabled. And that's because I didn't give enough time for the policy to update. So I will do it manually and for that I will go to my start menu. I will search for CMD. I will open it and here I will enter GP update. Press enter and now let's wait a bit. And as you can see the policy is updated. Now we still have Brave Rewards here. And that's because for the settings to apply we need to relaunch Brave. So I will close it, reopen it. And as you can see, this time we don't have Brave Rewards. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.